Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We're chronicling the restoration of my beloved Powers 46 Dreamfinder. I've had Dreamfinder for 14 years, and in that time we've done a lot of work. So she's been re-engined, she's had the uh, hull gel peeled and copper coated. We've had new props uh, due to earth bonding issues. The uh, cabin has been completely refitted and we've sailed her 540 miles from Southampton round to Fleetwood on the Fylde coast in the Irish Sea. Uh, we're now about to tackle the rear deck which is leaking quite badly and uh, refit the rear cabin in preparation for selling Dreamfinder and moving on to buying a sailboat to realise my dream of retiring and sailing in the Mediterranean. So I hope you enjoy the uh, the channel, and um, yeah, please, uh, if you like it, subscribe. Thank you. Morning, guys. Uh, okay, part two of our uh, video going around from uh, Southampton to Fleetwood today. Um, I'm not on the boat, uh, as you can probably see. I'm uh, I'm at home. Uh, we have Popka's just about to have her her pups. So uh, I'm on Popka watch today. Uh, Svetlana did the night shift last night, so uh, we're just um, expecting probably about nine or ten pups today, Popka. When you get ready, okay, sweetheart. Um, and um, you know, at the moment we've still got our two pups from the previous litter, from Aliana's litter, that uh, are here. They're due to go to their new owners next week. Um, so we're going to have a bit of an overlap for a week, which is going to be interesting to say the least. Okay, so um, yeah, enjoy this video. Dreamfinder's booked to come out of the water on the 2nd of March. Uh, so I've been up there and done a little bit more work on her. Uh, we've got another panel um, repaired uh, on the back transom. So there's just one more panel on the back transom to do. Uh, and then we can start on the sides. Uh, but I think I'm going to wait for it to come out of the water before I do the sides because I'm going to have to take the portholes out. Uh, I can't get to the starboard side um, because that's the water side uh, of the boat and the pontoon side is obviously moored up so I don't want to be weakening those, um, those cleats any more than they already are. Uh, and I will be disturbing the, um, the tarpaulin that I've put on there. So I think I'm going to wait until she comes out of the water for that bit. Uh, I've got to order the skin fittings, but I'll, again, I'm going to wait until I've actually got her out of the water because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and, and find all of the skin fittings on the outside of the boat, trace where they are inside because uh, these ones in the rear cabin were pretty much hidden. There was no sort of access panels or anything like that. So I, I suspect there may be one or two more. Uh, and I want to um, check them out and make sure that um, they've not got any um, any electrolysis or anything like that. Uh, and I'll probably just play safe and actually see if I can replace them at the same time so that we, we're all absolutely sound throughout the boat uh, and make sure that everything is, is in tip-top condition. So uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this video. If you do, obviously, if you can give me a like and uh, subscribe, that will be really useful. I'm trying to grow the channel as quickly as I can. Uh, and then uh, hopefully, uh, come 2nd of March, we'll have a lift out video and then we can start the actual real work of repairing that back deck and replacing all of that rotten wood. Okay, so after fueling up at Southampton and making our way from uh, Sulcan through to Falmouth. Um, we're on a another fuel up. So uh, we had a short day yesterday uh, from Sulcan to Falmouth, the 48 nautical miles. Uh, and the reason for that is because our next leg of the journey takes us round Land's End. Uh, and it's quite a long journey, so it's going to be an early start and then round Land's End uh, and up to Padstow, okay, um, in, uh, in Cornwall. So uh, Padstow is, uh, there's an island at the, at the entrance and then we're hoping to anchor in the um, uh, bay outside of the, the harbour. One of the things I really like doing when I'm uh, visiting a place is learning a little bit about the history. And uh, Padstow's got quite, a, quite an interesting history. It was, it was uh, part of the 
uh, a manor belonging to the Bodmin Monastery in the Middle Ages. And through the 19th century, it had a lot of trade with Ireland and with Wales in, on the Bristol Channel. But it also was exporting tin, copper, lead, uh, dairy produce, as well as importing timber from Norway and Sweden and salt and wine from France. Um, it even had um, um, imports from, from Russia. In the, in the first half of the 19th century, it was also a port of embarkation for emigrants, particularly bound for Canada. One of the key features when you're entering the estuary is the immediate loss of wind due to the cliffs, um, and that was a, a particular hazard, often resulting in ships being swept onto the Doom Bar, which uh, there's a, a not really nice sort of real L called Doom Bar, and I, I think it's probably related to that. So there was a, a manual capstan installed on the left bank of the river, uh, and rockets were fired to carry a line to the ships so, so they could be winched to safety. Um, and there have been ferries across the, the estuary for centuries with the uh, current service carrying pedestrians and uh, between uh, Padstow and Rock throughout the year. So, um, yeah, it's it's got a lot of history and it's a place that I'd like to visit again at some point. So Farmers to Padstow is 99.2 nautical miles so, so far on this journey, we've done 263.2 nautical miles. Uh, Falmouth to Padstow was eight hours. Uh, so we've been underway actually for uh, basically 23 hours. Okay, folks, so that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, we head from Padstow up to Milford Haven for another refuel, and then round to Skoma Island, which is a nature reserve. Um, weather's starting to get a little bit... Um, uh, duller and uh, it's starting to rain so uh, yeah uh, but in the next video spoiler alert we see dolphins so if you like what you see please um, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button thank you